CD Projekt Red has released Patch 2.3, an update for Cyberpunk 2077 that adds a ton of new features and content, including self-driving cars, new quests, new vehicles, and new photo mode features. Unfortunately, for those of us that love to mod the game, many of our mods are now broken and outdated. In this video, I will once again cover how to fix your mod load order in Vortex Mod Manager so that your load order is playable with the latest patch. We'll start with covering how to update mods and discussing when some mods will be updated for Patch 2.3, then I'll cover the much easier your method of downgrading your game to the previous version so that you can play with your old mods while you wait for them to receive new updates. Finally, I'll go over a series of potential fixes for crashes, errors, and any other modding issues you might encounter. The first thing I'm actually going to cover is updating your mods on the Vortex Mod Manager. This is good for both new modders and old modders alike. Basically, if you go to the far right, and you click on this cog wheel, and you make sure that you have the version column toggled and checked, you can go over here and see if a mod has an update available. Now it's not gonna show it right away, but if you go to the very top, in the top left, and click check for updates, Vortex is gonna scan each of your mods, compare them to the Nexus Mods website, and then tell you if a mod needs update. Vortex has finished checking for updates, so I'm gonna go to the version column and just click update available to filter by which mods need updating. There are gonna be a few different icons. Most likely this download symbol will be here. I'm gonna click on the Realistic Map 16K mod and I'm just going to left click it. It will be sent to my download queue where it has already finished because I am paying for premium and I'm going to update all profiles. I'm going to clear the update available filter just so that I can take another look at this new updated file. I'm going to click this drop down. I'm going to delete the old version. Make sure delete archive is selected and I'm going to click removed just so that we can free up a little space on our storage. And now the mod is updated. As a final warning, the top most popular mods on the Cyberpunk Nexus mod site are also the ones that are likely the most important to get updated. These are the ones that are going to take one to two days up to one to two weeks. So if you want your mods to get working again, you will have to also exercise patience. I have a spreadsheet that contains my mod list that also tracks the most essential and semi-essential mods so that I know that my game is up to date. And I will leave this link down in the description below if you want to reference it. If your Cyberpunk forced an update to patch 2.3, don't worry, it is very easy to roll back to the previous patch 2.21 from January. The previous method was taking the Steam console and inputting codes and then adding those file folders to your Cyberpunk directory. This is still a viable option, but it takes a lot more work than what we can do now. You simply have to right click your Cyberpunk, go to Properties, go to the Betas tab here, and right here under Beta Participation, we're going to click this drop down and do 221 old patch 2.21 and it's gonna start a download to the old version. I'm gonna have Vortex ready, and once this patch has rolled back, we're gonna hit play and see if my game still works with all of my old mods compatible with the previous version. When the old version through the betas tab has finished patching, it will show under the select version that we are on the old 2.21 patch. We're gonna go to Vortex and hit play just to make sure that the game actually launches, and we'll get in game and see if it works. All right, no crashes so far, good. And yeah, the game works. We can uh, look around, there's my Ferrari. What switcher just switched on, so yeah. Yeah, everything works. If you're getting a Phantom Liberty error since the update, this is another simple fix. It's an issue timed with the DLC, and it's as simple as going to your Cyberpunk, right-clicking it, Properties, going to Installed Files, and then clicking Verify Integrity of Game Files. If everything goes smoothly, you should get about a 3.6 gigabyte sized update to your game, and it should be able to launch again. If your game is crashing on startup when you hit play on Steam, Vortex, any other mod manager, or GOG Galaxy, then it's very likely that one of the mods that you had previously installed is the culprit. There's a chance that a mod that you have installed has a requirement that hasn't been updated for patch 2.3 yet, and you're gonna have to be patient and wait for updates. Even if you think you don't have any mods installed, you may have manually installed a mod in the past that you forgot to keep track of, and whatever manual mod that was might be missing a requirement that should be updated. One fix is as simple as just Control a highlighting all your mods, going down to the bottom and clicking Disable. But if you launch your game and it still doesn't work and you're still getting errors or crashes, I would suggest rewinding this video and rolling back your game version to patch 2.21. Otherwise, if you're feeling overwhelmed and you want to start from scratch, you might just have to return to the vanilla version of the game. For that reason, up next I'm going to cover how to do a fresh install of Cyberpunk by removing removing all mods and returning to the vanilla status of the game so that you can get rid of some of these errors. 
Removing all of your mods so that your game returns to vanilla status is quite simple. If you've only ever downloaded mods through Vortex Mod Manager or a similar mod manager, removing all of your mods is as simple as left-clicking one of them, hitting Control A, going to the bottom left, clicking the Remove button, make sure Remove Mod and Delete Archive are selected, and then Remove. If you've also manually installed mods into your game folder, it's going to take a little bit more to remove those. Head over to your platform of choice, in my case Steam, you're going to right-click your Cyberpunk properties, installed files, and click browse to get to the game directory folder right here. You can do one of two things. You could follow DJ Kovrick's advice of cleaning each of these folders listed in his Reddit comment from three years ago, shout out to him, and then verify your game file integrity. Otherwise, we're going to minimize that, right click on Steam, hit manage, we're just going to go uninstall it. Once uninstallation is complete, any of the remaining folders in here, you're going to want to just control A and then hit delete. Then you're free to reinstall Cyberpunk and everything should be back in its vanilla state. So perhaps after trying a ton of fixes, your mods still aren't showing up in game or crashing or there's a bunch of errors and bugs. This may be tied to the fact that you have red mod deployment enabled in Vortex and we want to disable that. If you go to your settings in Vortex, you go to V2077 settings, make sure that automatically convert legacy style archive mods to red mods on install is disabled. It is not recommended and I've had this feature break things in the past. One final fix you could try is hitting play so that Cyberpunk's red launcher is opened, going to this cog wheel and making sure that enabled mods is actually greened out. I mean, this is something that I messed up when I first started, so don't feel bad if this is grayed out. If you found any part of this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and a comment and even subscribing because I'm going to try to make more Cyberpunk content in the future based around modding. And also you should subscribe because I said so. But seriously, if you have questions, please leave them down in the comments. There's no way that I covered every area that you might have or some things might have been confusing for you. And I'd love to have the opportunity to clarify and help you out. With all that said, I hope you have a good one and enjoy the outro. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's, that's not good.